we're at Birdville Track, Birdville, Bird, Birdville Stadium. You gotta forgive me, we just finished working out. So we're gonna give you an idea when you come to the track what things you can do if you don't know what you're doing for beginners. So she starts, this is the beginning to start, the start and the finish line. So each time she runs at every corner, she's gonna do certain exercises, some body weight exercise. As she gets all the way around, she's gonna end here. So to start it off, so she's gonna start off with jumping jacks and squats. Now she's gonna do 10 reps of each, just to keep it easy so you have an idea of what you can do. Come here, and it's pretty easy, okay? And after she does a 10 jumping jacks and 10 squats, I mean, you're doing body weight, your squats, you can either walk or run or jog to the um, next, you know, corner. And knock off some fat. This is what you can do. You don't have to even run the the, long, the whole thing, you can jog, walk. So she made it down here to these numbers. Now she's gonna do lunges and push-ups. So keep it simple. If you can't do lunges or push-ups, do something you can do, jump, jumping jacks. Even if you do the same thing, at each one. This is a nice, simple, beginner's workout. You get your little body weight, ex body weight exercises. Get your little cardio in there too. certain destination, stop, do push-ups, jumping jacks. You walk into the next one or what? Like I say, you can walk, you know, you don't have to exhaust yourself. You gotta do, do what you're comfortable with. You don't wanna ex exert yourself to the point where you can't finish, you know? And plus you wanna, you know, you, if you do it too much, you're not gonna wanna come back and do it again, you know, so. Step up as you go. You can either come out here, walk around, do one exercise at each corner, you know. Then progress, when next time you come out here, do two. And as you feel strong and better, do three. Then you can do four, you know. Then you can just sprint the whole damn lap and do your exercises uh, at the end of every lap. Like I said, we walk around. used to start off we used to do two laps which is half a mile then we hit the bleachers then we do two mile I mean a half a mile again hit the bleachers we're gonna get back into that you know it's called a can it fitness you can do it Leg raises and courtesy lunges. Curtsy. Curtsy. <laughs> and these are gonna get y'all's glutes tight, ladies. We gotta get that. Don't know if I'ma see you again. But is that a good thing? This girl, I can't be your man. You got some leg weights, these will be good to, to do also. All exercises are better with some resistance. They can get resistant. Huh? They can get resistant bands? Yeah, resistant bands too. Uh-huh. Hold on. Something. 
These are the cur curtsy lunges. And if you can't do these, just do regular lunges. If you can't do regular lunges, you say do squats. This is good for the women. This is also good for men. Exercise is exercise. So you can come out here with your couples, come out here with your boyfriend, girlfriend, and get it done. Like I said on this one, when you come around to this one, we normally do the gallops, side steps, or shuttle runs, whatever you want to call them. say what up we'll give you advice we'll help you out as much as we can that's what we're here for so she has this corner left and then the finish line and that's a quarter this is a quarter of a mile each time around these tracks that's a quarter mile so if you around four that's four that's one mile numbers again you stop right here oh, yeah she's trying to cheat you stop right here and it's time for exercise again and I'm gonna do jumping jacks and jump lunge jumping jacks and jump lunge jump lunges I know this is probably annoying with me repeating what she says but I don't know if with the wind blowing I don't know if y'all can hear us And see these jumps are pretty explosive so you know if you can't do these without falling down <laughs> find something else to do That's right. and just women it's getting dark out here don't come to the park alone make sure you got your blade with you make sure you got your concealed gun <laughs> or make sure you got your pimp, hand, pimp slap hand good all built up so you come out here and there's some creepy guys walking around here you know Get your pepper spray, your taser. One video we're gonna teach you the donkey kick. That, that'll protect you when somebody try to touch your squat booty. They probably can't even hear you. <laughs> See the moon? Right now it's 547. We've been out here since or something I guess so we don't be playing around this fitness thing is for real remember this is one lap we're showing y'all we've already done I don't know how many laps we've done on now yeah, my knees fill in my knee now Yeah, this last one. Uh, like I said, we had to track today. Um, we just wanted some different scenery. And Amanda left uh, her shower clothes at home. So every time we go to the gym, she's like getting in the hot tub. So we came to the track. You've seen some of the stuff we've done. We did the uh, jump roping and all that good old stuff. See, there's then the, the bleachers where we stepped. I did the bleacher steps. We ran up and down the bleachers, tag team style. Then we did our little lunges and push-ups holding the bleachers. 
So what we're doing now, since this is the end, we already did uh, three, four laps. This is our fourth lap. What we do is when you get to the beginning, back here, we run or jog. When we get to the corner, right before it curves, we stop. I either do jump roping, some squats, push-ups, uh, lunges, whatever you can. You do the side gallops as you take off, but at every corner you stop and do some kind of body weight activity. You know, like right here, Mr. Amanda's gonna show you. Do some squats, do some jumping jacks, or some lunges, jumping jacks, um, you know, uh, whatever. You can do burpees, you can do push ups. Like I said, you can do, you got the jump rope. Uh, we a small gang, just the two of us, baby.